Good morning, Chuck and Paige here with No Time To Be Sad. Hey, today I wanna to talk to you about one of our other favorite places to go in Thailand, and that's Kanchanat Buri. <laughs> Not Kanchanaburi, but Ganchanaburi. We've traveled just about everywhere, I think, in Thailand. Well, not yet, but pretty close to it. So one of our favorite places to go is on the river. The River Kwai. <laughs> it's Kwai. So if you go there, Thai people get irritated when the foreigners say Kwai. But it's spelled Kwai. Why don't they spell it Kwai? But anyway, it's Menam Kwai. So our favorite, our most favorite thing to do when we go there is just relax on the resort. They have these, on the small river Kwai, on the, it aggravates her, on the Menam Kwai Noi, the small river Kwai, it has a lot of resorts up and down the river. And what we usually do, we like to just kind of hop like spend a day here, a couple a couple nights here, and then move around. Mm -hmm. But we did find one that, the Paradise Resort, that's our favorite place, I think, so far. This is where we're at right here. Boy. I will put a link in the description box that you can click on to see where this is at on Google Maps. Okay, here's the room. How much was this tonight? Twenty two hundred for two nights. It's very beautiful setup. The food is really good. They have an awesome buffet. The thing about these, you know, you can, if you're driving, you know, you can take off and there's a few sites to see close by on the resorts, but it's really just all inclusive. They've got full bars. They usually don't have uh, lunch. Plenty of those uh, and French fries. Huh? 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 Paige got a pork burger. She said it's okay, huh? No, it's not. Well, I see they have mustard on here, so that's a good sign. <laughs> Taste okay? Okay, two thumbs up. How about three? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have a bite yet. <laughs> Not bad. All right. That actually looks pizza? really good. This is a Hawaiian. Hawaiian one. Come yeah. look. Ham and look. pineapple. I'm regretting the burger. <laughs> I, the, I got the extra you cheese. It's really thick. Does that look good? It's fine cheese. Food. And drinks. And drinks. Three or four beers. 2,700 baht. 
in the tourist town. So pretty good. They serve lunch here, but there is a lot of places you can drive just right up the street here and eat. But they have breakfast, free breakfast and free dinner. So we're just gonna drink another beer and eat some chips. Maybe some chips. I'll chip my. It comes with an excursion, and a lot of times you can do two excursions because they have one in the morning, right, and the one in the afternoon. So if you're staying two nights, you usually can do like a couple if you want to, right? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing, but usually they'll take you, depending on the resort, the one that we like to go to on the Paradise, they take you down to the waterfalls, and you can get in the waterfall. So uh, you can, they'll drop you off into the river if you like, and then you can float downstream, you know, for a good ways, maybe a kilometer or two on the, on the river. And it's really refreshing. My mother-in-law is cleaning the door. Maybe she's locking herself out. <laughs> so that's really our favorite thing to do there, but there's a lot of activities in Ganchanaburi. Ganchanaburi is only 125 kilometers from Bangkok. So once you, if you fly into Bangkok, you can take a train to Kanchanaburi. You can get a tour guide, a tour bus. You could take a regular bus. There's a lot of options to get to Kanchanaburi from Bangkok and it's really close. So once you're, if you want to stay in the town, inside, inside the town is the bridge over the River Kwai. The famous movie, The Bridge Over River Kwai, you guys can check it out. A lot of history. The railroad itself was built by prisoners of war back in, the war, back in World War II. When the Japanese, Japanese came into Thailand, it was gonna build a railroad all the way from Burma, a supply line from Burma all the way down south. And they used prisoners of war to build this bridge. You can actually get on the train there and you, you go down to a park and they have a nice little market. You can eat lunch there. You can also check out uh, an awesome cave where they used to have the medical facilities for the workers. These guys are moving here.
These people were also not just POWs, but they were Burmese, Chinese, Thai people. They were hired hands to help build this, this railroad. But it was blown up by America, uh, the bridge, and it was reconstructed. But you can get on the train and take a tour on that. That is a pretty fun thing to do. Also along the river there is a, a lot of nice restaurants you can eat at. There's also further down like a walking not really a walking street, but there's a lot of bars and a lot of like hostels and inexpensive places to stay. And it's a pretty cool little hangout. But inside there where the bridge is, there's a good, a nice market, a lot of gemstones. So there's a lot of mining and stuff in that area too, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're into a lot of gemstones, you can buy lots of that stuff here at the market. And of course, lots of food, lots of things to see. Also inside the town, which is another fun thing to do, is go to the War Museum. I would recommend doing all that first prior to getting on the train ride because you can get some history at the museum of exactly what happened during the war and during the time that they were building this. And then right across the street from that the, is the uh, uh, War Cemetery. And then right across the street from that is the train station where you come in from Bangkok. Further north, we're closer to where the resorts are from the town, is Hellfire Pass. Hellfire Pass is actually kind of in between the downtown, the, the bridge and, the, uh, and the, the resorts. So on your way there to the resorts, you could check out Hellfire Pass.
Australian government, the Thai government, built a park and a museum here with all kinds of walking paths. And you can go down and see where they dug this gorge out where thousands of people had died during the process. They used to work these prisoners like 18 hours a day digging this dredge out for this to put the railroad tracks in. But anyway, it's a, it's a very cool place to go. It's one of our favorite spots in Thailand. I highly recommend you see Kanchanaburi. Beautiful river, a lot of history, a lot of things to do. Of course, always lots of awesome food in that area too. What else? Did I miss anything? It's a waterfall. Lots of water. There's a lot of national parks. Two big lakes. Two big lakes. trails everywhere you can go off of the main trail into some of the uh, some of the like wooded paths also so bring mm -hmm. hiking shoes if you want to do that a lot of walking there's a village on the other side of the lake yeah we went to that village out here mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh -huh. after the rain it's called what is it? Eat Dong. Eat Dong. Is there another name for that? I thought it was Mon Village. No, Mon Village is by the bridge. Eat Dong Village is the one that we go on the dirt road with Nok Noi on the other side of the lake. Is that the one with all the curves? Yeah. Oh, that's like the 395 curve or something or another? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you may not want to do that in a passenger van. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's got the road with the most curves in Thailand and uh, it was a lot and the road's not that good <laughs> a lot of markets a lot of good food really cool so anyway guys I hope you check out Ganchanaburi awesome place I think it's probably our second most favorite place to go in Thailand we got to take the uh, the mafia tour our, our Thai family there last time had a great time if you guys are coming with a and meeting up with a thai family or a group this is a definite good place to take a large group of people for an hour or so no more than 30 minutes because we got to come back 30 minutes <laughs> Resorts will give you a discount if there's a lot of people together in. They have family rooms and they have everything that you need for large groups of people. So anyway, guys, thanks for listening to us. I hope you check it out. If you like today's video, click like, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>